Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. So in today's tutorial, we will be learning how we can add projects in test launch or how you can create a new project in test launch. So test launch can have uh, multiple test projects and a test projects mainly contains all the information about your plans, your test cases, uh, the reports for your uh, project, uh, the users accessing the project, etc. And uh, the project can contain uh, different information related to different websites or uh, whichever application you are testing. Okay, so uh, let's see how we can add a new project in Test Launch. Uh, you just have to log in and go to new project. Let us go to the website. Okay, so uh, you know this is the login page for uh, Test Launch. Uh, provide your email ID. Provide the password and click on login. Okay, so this is uh, you can say the dashboard or the home page uh, when you log in into Test Launch. As of now, we don't have any project, so let us try to create a project and see how we can add it. So on the right hand side, here you can see a green button that says new project. So you can click here or you can click here, new project. Okay. So let's click on new project. Now you have to give the name of the project. Suppose uh, you want to test any website or any application. So project. Suppose uh, the project is about uh, testing the application that is the website. Okay, so we have given the name. Uh, click on add project. Okay, so the message says project was uh, successfully created. Now this particular page shows you the project overview and activity. As of now, we don't have any uh, content associated uh, with this project. So we have created a project. This is the dashboard. Uh, this is all the information like test planning, uh, requirement document, uh, what are the test cases and test suits available. Uh, this is the name of the project. Do we have any test runs? No, as of now, both are zero. Okay. In progress test runs, that is also zero. Uh, this is uh, like project statistics. So uh, what are the total test plans associated with this project? Uh, how many requirements are there? Total requirement documents, total test suits, total test runs. And this is a graphical representation like number of projects updated in the past week. Uh, these are like incomplete test runs assigned to you. Uh, people with the most incomplete test runs. Uh, you have zero incomplete test runs. So we have not uh, executed any test cases. So uh, the test runs are zero and this is the user workload report so you can also generate a report for uh, the amount of uh, test cases or the test runs uh, executed for that project so as of now we have just created a project these are all the details of the project so one by one we will see in the later tutorials what is the meaning of each um, uh, you know uh, link like test plan, requirement, test cases, and how we can create them. Okay, so this is how uh, we can create a project. Now, if you want to add any other project, so see on the right hand side, there is a plus button. If you click on this, so see, these are all the quick actions that are shown to you, how you can add a new test plan, how you can add a new requirement, a new test suit, or a new test run into this particular project. So name of the project is displayed here, retail application. And yeah, so this is uh, pretty much about how to create and get started with your first project. I hope it is clear to you all. And we will meet in the next set of tutorials for uh, learning the uh, next functionality. Till then, thank you very much. If you like the video, do subscribe my channel and keep learning in life. Bye bye.